Hi, what's your name? Are you a chef? What are you making here today at the Toronto Garden I'm Festival? Can I see how you make it? Okay. So what do you got? You got a piece of tuna there. It's well seasoned, I see. And what's that you're putting on it? Um, onion. Onion. Okay. What else do we got? Okay. That goes over here. Wow, look at that whole tray of salmon. Thank you. Oh, you got a customer there. Getting a little busy here. Okay. So um, how long have you been doing this? More than an hour? Okay, that's pretty good. And how, how what were people saying about your sushi? They said it was, they said it was good. Yeah, really good, eh? It looks pretty interesting. Some people get seconds. Wow, it's that good. How many have you had today? I only had four. Only four? Is that in the past hour or since this morning? Well, well I did it when I was four minutes after I came. Oh, we got another order here. Okay. Well, that's another different piece of fish. What kind is that? Wow. Okay, that goes on the tuna to share. Okay, so um, I see you pretty busy. Uh, can I talk to somebody else regarding the business? Sure, him. Him, okay. Hi, him. What's Hi, your name? Who are you? I'm good. saying Kim. Okay, so um, nice uh, junior um, there. doing a pretty good job there. Uh, you trained her very well. Uh, tell me about your business. It's called the... Sushi making for the sushi soul. Sushi making for the soul. And we what? only use child laborers. That's it. That are part of the family. It's a family-owned business. Yeah. <laughs> but you do it in a in a ethical way. Yes. yes. Um, so that's a very nice name. Why'd you, how'd you come up with that name? Sushi making for the soul. I used to open up. I used to have a bunch of restaurants, and uh, one of the things I did after opening up um, Japanese sushi restaurants was I wanted to go back to the community and help young kids. Uh, teach them a little bit about Japanese cuisine, but at the same time, also teach them how to make uh, basic things at home, not only sushi. Uh, then it became a, a, a corporate and um, uh, educational uh, venture. I teach uh, hands-on sushi making classes for, for all kinds of people. Well, hence we got a young protege here. Yes. You like teaching children, as you mentioned. Very nice introduction here. Very, very, very apt. Um, the name itself, how did you come up with the name for the soul? Is it something deeper than, is something fishy about this? Is it deeper to... Uh, you know what, uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul is a, is a famous uh, uh, collection of uh, books. Okay. And um, I always believe that sushi making could be a very meditative kind of practice. And uh, people who come to my classes tell me often that it's a very soothing kind of culinary well, exercise. Okay, you got me interested here. Tell me about your classes. Well, I do a lot of corporate, as I said, classes. Um, I do a lot of banks, um, law firms, things like that. But uh, my main class is held at uh, Keel and Western Road um, in a cooking class room. And um, you can find out information about what I do at sushimakingforthesoul.com. Okay. And how long have you been doing this endeavor? Sushi Making for the Soul has been going on for approximately uh, four years now. And one hour with this one, right. <laughs> and uh, where did it originate from? Uh, it started out of a restaurant I used to own called Blowfish. Oh, yeah. And um, from there, uh, went into people's homes and taught them how to make sushi. Wow. And just expanded from there. What a concept. So you're really, you're really feeding their soul. I am. Very nice, Brennan. I wish you much success. So we got the website. Um, any last a minute uh, tips on how to make better sushi? Yeah, Aside I mean, from putting your heart and soul into it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's about getting good, uh, good fish, uh, preferably sustainable. And, uh, and you, li you can literally use any kind of dressing or sauces that you might use for, for other stuff that you make at home. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome.